Just look at this beautiful, beautiful forest. Good morning. You know, I think one of the questions that wildlife photographers hear the most is, what are your favorite animals to photograph? What's your favorite wildlife to photograph? You know, it's no secret, I'm completely obsessed with duck photography. I love my time spent photographing bears. Owls are so much fun and river otters never get old. But of all the wildlife that I've had the opportunity of photographing over the years, there's one group that takes the top spot. Those are foxes. I am completely obsessed with fox photography and foxes in general. I love foxes. So in this week's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different and review each of North America's fox species that I've had the opportunity to photograph over the years. I'm going to review their unique adaptations that allow them to survive in their different environments in which they live. And I'm just going to share with you why I'm so obsessed with fox photography. Each species of North American fox has unique adaptations that allow it to survive in the ecosystem in which it lives. Let's start with the species that we're probably most familiar with, the red fox. Red foxes are masters of the urban environment. In fact, they can be more common in cities and neighborhoods than in many wild places. Red foxes have learned to adapt alongside humans. They capitalize and take advantage of many human food sources and will often den underneath porches, in an abandoned shed, or field in the middle of town. Because of their ability to adapt and live alongside humans, they've become the most widespread species of fox throughout the world. I've photographed many more red fox dens in the middle of town than I have in a backcountry setting. Gray foxes and their close relative, the Channel Islands fox, have a truly remarkable adaptation. Unlike any other species of fox, they have rotatable wrist joints. This allows these foxes the ability to grasp trees and actually climb them. You may occasionally see some other species, like red foxes, in the lower branches of a tree or hopping from one larger branch to another, but the gray fox and Channel Islands fox can actually climb vertical trunks, branches, and even navigate small flexible limbs. This allows these species to access food sources such as bird nests and tree fruit that other species would never have access to. Like I said, a truly remarkable adaptation. Arctic foxes are the masters of camouflage. If you take a look at the other species of foxes we talk about today, they all stay the same color throughout the year. Some arctic foxes, on the other hand, can actually change color depending on the season. Arctic foxes have a blue morph and a white morph. The blue morph stay the same color all year long. This color helps them blend into rocks, cliff sides, and other landscape features as they hunt birds and rodents, raid bird nests, and look for other food sources. The white morph turn to a white in the winter and back to a mixture of blue and white in the summer. These morphs vary from fox to fox. This fox will turn white this winter while its sibling will stay blue. Swift foxes live on the open plains and prairies. These habitats have very little cover and can be difficult to hunt and hide in when there's nothing but grass as far as you can see. Swift foxes are given their name because of their speed, as they're the fastest species of North American fox. Swift foxes also have ears located more on the sides of their head. They're able to lie their ears to the side, which gives them an extremely flat profile and allows them to hide in just a couple inches of grass. Kit foxes are similar to swift foxes in that they live in a very specific environment and are true masters of that environment. Kit foxes are desert-dwelling foxes. Everything about them has adapted to help them survive in these harsh environments. They can go their whole lives without ever needing to drink, getting all the moisture they need from the food that they eat. Their large ears help to dissipate excess heat and their long, narrow snouts are perfect for reaching inside rodent burrows and snatching prey. Their eyes are very cat-like, letting in more light and helping them to hunt at night when it's cool, and their furred foot pads protect their feet from the hot desert sand. 
These are true masters of the desert. No matter what species of fox we're talking about, they all have some things in common. Young foxes, or kits, love to wrestle, play, and pounce. This playing helps them practice and learn skills that they'll need in the future when it comes time for them to hunt on their own and provide food for their own families. Wrestling with each other also helps them practice the skills that they'll need to protect their own families in the future, whether it's from other foxes or other predators. Many species of foxes are nocturnal, but one of the cool things about foxes is their ability to adapt to their surroundings and the environment around them. Foxes have been known to change what time of day they're most active based on the type of prey that they're hunting that time of year, and also based on any human activity in the area. Foxes can be tolerant to human activity, but they do like to keep to themselves for the most part, even if they do tolerate us taking their pictures. It doesn't matter what species of fox I have in front of my camera, they are just so much fun to photograph and I love every minute spent with them. Over the years, I've had the opportunity of photographing each species of North American fox. I'm completely fascinated by these different adaptations that allow the different species to survive in their different habitats. But I'm also so impressed by how family oriented they are. Foxes are extremely good caretakers. Unlike many different animal species, both adult foxes take care of the young kits. They play with them, they make sure they're cared for and well fed. I love foxes because of this. It's so fun to see the interaction between kits and adults, kits and kits and adults and adults. It's just so much fun to watch these foxes. You know, there's nothing quite as pure as seeing the excitement on a young fox's face when mom or dad comes home. I absolutely love foxes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. I know it's a little bit different from the normal videos that I do, but if you wanna see more content like this, uh, these more like species informative videos, just let me know. I had a lot of fun putting this one together and I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy these fox clips that I showed you the fox content here and you haven't seen my other fox videos yet, I'll put links to them in the description below. I've done quite a few fox videos over the years and they're just so much fun to spend time with and photograph. So again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments and uh, go watch those other videos. I'll put links to them below. Thank you so much for following along this week. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.